Hello, welcome to the Professor Vegas channel. A groundbreaking study has just revealed something surprising about the Sahara Desert's past. Scientists have recovered DNA from individuals who lived 7,000 years ago in a region that was once humid and verdant, and the analysis points to a population genetically isolated from other African and Mediterranean groups. Let's get into the details of this fascinating discovery. For the first time, researchers have successfully extracted preserved DNA from skeletons found in the Takarkori rock shelter in Libya. These excavations, conducted between 2003 and 2006, brought to light the remains of two women who lived around 5000 BCE. The genetic analysis, published in the journal Nature, reveals that they belong to a group with a distinct genetic makeup, showing no detectable mixing with populations from Sub-Saharan Africa, North Africa, or the Mediterranean. In the words of archaeologist Peter Mitchell from the University of Oxford, these are the first ancient genomes recovered from the Sahara. The mitochondrial DNA of these women indicates a maternal lineage that may have given rise to some of the earliest modern humans to migrate from Africa to Europe. Intriguingly, this lineage is not found in present-day populations. Remember that 7,000 years ago, Takarkori was a fertile area close to a lake with evidence of dairy production and the domestication of wild cereals. Rock paintings in nearby caves attest to the presence of hunting and animal husbandry in this green Sahara. Despite the pottery found in Takarkori having similarities to that of other regions in North Africa, the analyzed genomes show no signs of mixing with external populations. This held true even with the arrival of new technologies, such as pastoralism. According to archaeologist Savino di Lernia from Sapienza University of Rome, the Sahara acted as a route for the spread of culture and technology, but not for the movement of people. This population appears to have remained genetically isolated. The preservation of these women's bodies by the arid conditions of the Sahara made this rare genetic discovery possible. However, researchers caution that the data is limited, and more samples are needed for a complete understanding of the region's genetic diversity during that period. Political instability in North Africa has been an obstacle to the advancement of new research in this crucial area. This is the fascinating genetic story that emerges from the ancient Sahara, an isolated lineage and a surprisingly verdant past. If you found this content informative, please leave a like. Subscribe to the Professor Viegas channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss more discoveries like this, and share with your friends. Your support is essential for our work. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.